one thing that you could do right now for yourself is to look at your diversification between your types of accounts. If you are in a lower tax bracket, meaning the 12, maybe the 22, just depending on what your circumstances are, you should really be looking at getting those balances more diversified. So for example, if 90% or more of your money is in an IRA account, you should look at um, moving that money either to a non-qualified account or to a Roth. Now that means that you're going to have to pay taxes today. And that's never a fun thing to do. I get sick at my stomach every time I have to make a deposit to the IRS, uh, especially knowing what they're spending the money on. But you're looking out for your financial future because Um, When you look at the balance of your IRA account, you have to know that all of that doesn't belong to you. The government has a receivable on that account in the form of taxes when you take money out or when your heirs take money out. So you want to manage that liability the best that you can by getting money out at the lowest tax bracket. So one thing that you may consider right now, if you have a Roth, um, if you don't have a Roth, you have to know kind of the rules to qualify for tax-free distributions. It has to be open for five years, um, so on so on and so forth. There's a couple of other things. So you don't want to get all of your money in a Roth either, That especially money that you might need in the next five years. But if you have positions, let's say, in your portfolio that are down 20%, 30%, 50%, it may be a good time to move that out into a, either a Roth or a non-qualified type of account. So let's just let's just say that you invested $10,000 in a position. Today, it's worth $5,000. It's in your IRA. You move that either to a non-qualified or to a Roth account, you're going to pay taxes on the current value, which is $5,000, rather than the $10,000 you invested. So you get a little bit of tax break, moving it out, and then it gets to recover wherever you put it. If it goes into a Roth, then you'd never pay taxes on the the recovery and the growth going forward. So that may be a good good little project for you to do here at the beginning of the year if you have some, um, some accounts that are down. If you're still working or your income is variable and you don't know where you're going to land for the by the end of 2023, you may want to put off that decision until closer to the end of the year when you know for sure which tax bracket that you're going to be in.